amendments to Section 14 contents of Articles of Incorporation under the Old Corporation Code. What is the amendments in the Old Corporation Code pertains to Section 14, which refers to contents of Articles of Incorporation. So, bago natin tignan yung changes, ano muna ang nilalaman ng Section 14, which means contents of Articles of Incorporation. The contents of the Articles of Incorporation should be the following. Number 1, the name of the corporation. Number 2, primary and secondary purposes. Number three, principal office of the corporation. Number four, term of the corporation. Number five, names, nationalities, and residences of the incorporators. Number six, number of directors should not be less than five, but not more than 15. Number seven, names, nationalities, and residences of acting directors or trustee until the first regular directors or trustees are duly elected. 8. Amount of authorized capital stock if it is a, a stock corporation. Number 9. If non-stock corporation, must state the amount of capital, names, nationalities, residences of the contributors, and amount contributed. So, these are the contents of the Articles of Incorporation under the Old Corporation Code. So, dapat ang nilalaman ng Articles of Incorporation nyo upon incorporation sa SEC. So, under Revised Corporation Code, ito yung nabago. So, instead of Section 14 siya, under the Revised Corporation Code, Section 13 na siya. And ang title niya under Section 13 is Articles of Incorporation. So, ano yung changes under the Revised Corporation Code? nang nilalaman ng Articles of Incorporation. Number one, uh, there should be arbitration agreement that may be provided in the Articles of Incorporation. So, if there is dispute between or among stockholders, the remedy is to exhaust all the recourse available before filing an intracorporate dispute in the court. Otherwise, any filing in the court shall be premature unless arbitration agreement has been complied with and exhausted with. And this will lead to dismissal of the case kapag hindi mo na exhaust yung remedy mo under the arbitration agreement which is incorporated sa Articles of Incorporation. Number two changes, filing of the Articles of Incorporation or the filing of the amendment of the Articles of Incorporation may be in the form of electronic document. And it can be filed through electronic filing to SS, SEC. So, pwede na yung electronic document, pwede na rin yung electronic filing under the rules on electronic filing of the SEC. Pangatlong change is that an Articles of Incorporation shall include an undertaking to change corporate name immediately upon receipt of notice from the, from the SEC. The following are the circumstances that a company may receive a notice from the SEC to change the corporate name. Number one, that another corporation, partnership, or person acquired prior, prior right to the use of such name. Number two, that the name has been declared not distinguishable from a name already registered or reserved for the use of another corporation. Or number three, that it is contrary to law, public morals, good customs, or public policy. So, wala pong istopel na mag apply sa SEC which pertains to change of a corporate name. So, example, uh, you may file a petition to SEC to direct the other corporation not to use the corporate name since it is similar to the existing corporate name. So, you don't need to file um, a complaint or petition in court nor a co-warranto to change the corporate, to direct the other company to change the corporate name. So, sa SEC ka na lang magpa-file ng information to direct other company to change the corporate name because it's already been, the name that they use is already been reserved or it's already been registered. Hindi ka na ngayon magpa-file sa court. Kasi nga, meron ng undertaking 
included in the Articles of Incorporation na pwedeng i-change yung corporate name. It gives the SEC an authority and power to direct the corporation to change the corporate name. So, pang-apat na changes sa Revised Corporation Code is that a uh, corporation shall have perpetual existence or a fixed term indicated in the Articles of Incorporation. So, meron silang two options, ang company, a paning corporation, a uh, Ang option nila is perpetual existence or maglalagay sila ng term kung hanggang kailan yung company nila mag exist So, number five na changes, no need to state that at least 25% of the authorized capital stock has been subscribed and that at least 25% of the total subscription had been paid because double 25% requirements under the old corporation code has been deleted. And treasurer's of David is no longer required anymore. But, ang number six na change is that requirement of certification of receipt of the paid up portion of the sub subscription of the corporate treasurer is required. I'm sharing to you the word of God, which uh, is in Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So remember guys, hindi ka nag-iisa. God is with you. Just study and focus. If you're tired, just rest. But do not lose the focus on studying. And always put your trust in God. And ask His guidance and strength. Remember, you can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens you. No matter how hard the situation is, you can do it. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you like this uh, video and it somehow helped you, you may like, subscribe, and uh, share this video. Have a nice evening or morning or day and God bless us. Thank you so much. Goodbye.